Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> Sam I B. Deganji, curator, founder of the Correct Views. Oh, welcoming you aboard. Uh, adjusting. I'm still dealing with exactly what I'm going to do. Obviously, the studio for a number of years now has not been up. The goal is to try and get it done in some form and fashion, but we'll see how that goes. I did want to let everyone know that I have recently gone through our computer. I had to get another computer. Uh, the other one still works. I've had it for like six years, five years. The other one still works. It's a backup computer. Uh, the process of changing everything over, I did lose a number of the bookmarks, which I had planned on giving to people. I remember once uh, I had this happen, and uh, the former uh, behind-the-scenes queen, Christelle, had said, uh, Oh, no. you got to get your dumdies. Well, it's happened again. I, I But I do. I, I Luckily, I already knew who the winner was going to be. So this one might be a bit shorter. There have not been a number of posts. A shout out to Susie and a few other listeners who had noticed it. Um, it has been an ongoing problem since the, uh, the Facebook issue. All right, guys. Here we go. Always removes the female symbol from the packaging. Now, um, this might seem like a small thing, but it's not. And I'd like to explain why. There, and this is, this is openly published in, in the, in the uh, Communist Manifesto. It's published um, in a number of outlets which have called for what people call the revolution. And it's been coming in increments. It comes in little ways. Uh, one of the ways that that is done is, uh, of course, through pop, pop culture, you see things like uh, the word radical meaning awesome instead of radical meaning leftist who silences when you're allowed to speak. One of the things that they want to do is to destroy everything. The, the, look up the Hegelian dialectic. It's to destroy everything with the sole purpose of then coming in as the saviors for the problem to which they've already created. Now, again, you, you have this uh, with neoconservatives as well. The trouble is neoconservatives are not the people that are causing this right now. We had a bit of a break from it, at least in the highest office with Trump, and now it's back, you know, pedal to the metal, fifth gear with Biden. The idea that we are going to destroy everything that was good and normal in a society and replace it with something new. The idea that everything has to be destroyed. Now, that doesn't mean that if a man wants to consider himself a woman that you know he needs to be having his life destroyed or something. That's not what I'm saying. But what I do want to make clear is that while he deserves the right to go through his life and not be uh, beaten up, uh, not, not be denied things that he has earned and achieved and acknowledgments, he doesn't, he doesn't, uh, his lifestyle choices don't warrant that. However, it's not a choice. All sex is a choice, unless it's rape. Let me repeat that. All sex is a choice, unless it's rape. Therefore, what we are looking at here is a, a silencing of people who are not willing to bow to feelings over science. Normally you hear the left, science, science, they sound like the Thomas Dolby video, science! Well, the science is pretty clear here. A man who gets his, uh, to quote, um, Michael Savage, a man who gets his schmeckle cut off is not a woman. He is rather a mutilated man. And this can be proven by using science. <clears throat> I, need, I wish I had the behind the scenes queen with her samples. Science will show us clearly that this is the case. Now, does that mean that gay people therefore should have to you know, hide who they are? No, I don't care. I'm pretty libertarian. Uh, when it comes to everybody having to accept it, accept it whether they want to or not, and to acknowledge what is 
clearly not the case as if it was. That is, I think, where a substantial problems arise. And now we have Always, who have removed the feminine logo from their packaging and from their from their design. All their graphic art has had the female symbol removed in order to be more inclusive to those who do not wish to acknowledge the science of the situation. So I'm going to show you first the hat, then the award. It's on the computer. Here is the hat that they are being sent. Of course, it says dunce. Now, for those of you that don't know, the uh, um, they're scented markers, which I didn't do on purpose. They were actually the cheapest at the same time. Um, and again, the dunce caps look so child. Exactly, they do look child. And that is why I send them to underscore how childish and stupid certain situations actually are. They should sit in the corner with a freaking dunce cap on. Here's somebody saying, DNA shows that even after an operation, a man is male and a female is female. Uh, you're not seeing this live, by the way, on the Media Speaks, because I'm having some trouble getting the camera to stream. But I will be on that. I will be trying to fix it. So that's why this is... HD and not live. Uh, this is the first time I've ever drawn a penis on a dunce cap. I will pull my pants up once I get a tampon. Now, I'm sending this to um, always. I wonder why people think I'm a guy all. And there, of course. And last but not least, there's always one of these with the, uh, you know, the, the no truth. I did the colors backwards, but that's fine. And the award, it says, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And uh, a purist, hold on, I will have people saying, but wait a minute, since you only did one, we didn't get the song. Hold on, hold on. Maybe you're not going to get the song. Are you happy? Frizzy Fraggles and all. Alright, what I wrote. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Science has shown what humankind has known. It's going to get in the way. Science has shown what humankind has known since the days of the caveman. Regardless of how one feels, there are two genders. Only one of those genders has a monthly cycle, I wrote. This is always true. For failing to acknowledge this absolute truth, and for changing your logo to bow to the anti-science left, always wins the Dunce Cap of the Month award. Here is their wonderful, wonderful logo. Yes, you may see a Christmas tree in the background because I'm using my sunroom as a storage unit right now because the upstairs of the house isn't done, which is how the studio got moved. All right, friends. Thank you for listening. If you wish to donate, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. All of the money that is given to me, that goes towards a better show, friends. Uh, thank you for listening. Good night, God bless, and hit share because we have got to find a way to make up for the uh, tens of thousands of viewers and subscribers and people who followed the show who unfortunately now have been completely cut off from it without any, any reason by having it taken down. So you hitting share takes away a lot of the power from the sensors, and I thank you for doing it, guys.